Have you ever wondered how a simple change in price can affect what and how much we buy? Today, we'll explore the captivating dynamics of the demand curve movement, unveiling the fascinating impact of price on our buying behavior. So, let's begin. First, let's talk about the law of demand. It's a fundamental principle in economics that reveals how consumers react to changes in product prices. In simple terms, the law of demand states that when prices go up, people tend to buy less. And when prices drop, they are more likely to buy more. Hence, there is an inverse relationship between the price of a good or service and the quantity demanded. This inverse relationship is what gives us the downward sloping demand curve. There are two reasons for this relationship. First, as the price of a good or service falls, more customers are able to pay, which means they are more likely to purchase the product. And lastly, as the price of a good or service falls, the consumer's real income rises, meaning that with the same amount of income the consumer is able to purchase more products at a lower price. Visualizing this relationship is where the demand curve comes into play. The demand curve shows the quantities of a product that consumers are willing and able to purchase at different price points. Notice that as you move along the curve from left to right, the price changes, and correspondingly, the quantity demanded changes. Now that we've grasped the law of demand significance, let's bring it to life with relatable scenarios. Imagine you're at your favorite coffee shop, and your go-to latte just got a price bump. What's your likely response? Chances are, you might rethink your choice and opt for a more budget-friendly option. As the price rises from P1 to P2, the quantity demanded falls from Q1 to Q2, tracing a movement along the demand curve. This reaction is a prime example of how price changes directly influence our buying decisions. But what if that same latte was suddenly on a limited time discount? Your excitement might drive you to buy more than usual. Here, the lower price, P2, has enticed you to increase your quantity demanded from Q1 to Q2, causing another movement along the demand curve. Let's take another example. Imagine you're browsing a bookstore, and you stumble upon a best-selling novel that's now half price. What's your likely response? Chances are, you'll grab that irresistible deal without a second thought. As the price drops from P1 to P2, the quantity demanded surges from Q1 to Q2, leading to a movement along the demand curve. Now, envision a situation where the cost of your favorite streaming service spikes suddenly from P1 to P2. You might consider switching to a more budget-friendly alternative or even scaling back your subscription plan. So, the quantity demanded for the product comes down from Q1 to Q2. Here, the increased price compels you to adjust your buying behavior, resulting in yet another movement along the demand curve. As we've learned, changes in price are central to understanding demand curve movement. However, there's more to this dynamic than you think. Imagine you're strolling through a bustling market, eyeing the vibrant displays of fresh produce. Your favorite fruit is now on sale at a discounted price. Contractions and extensions are the terms we use to describe movements along the demand curve caused by price changes. When the price of a product rises, consumers usually purchase less of it, resulting in a contraction in the curve. On the other hand, when prices drop, consumers tend to buy more, leading to an extension in the curve. So, a contraction in demand is when the quantity demanded falls, and an extension is when quantity demanded rises. Now, let's take a moment to recap the main points that we've uncovered. Demand curve movement, as we've learned, occurs when the price of a product changes, causing a shift in the quantity demanded. If the price rises, the quantity demanded for the product will tend to fall. However, if the price falls, the quantity demanded will tend to rise. The demand curve is shown as a downward sloping curve, indicating the inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. A price rise causes a contraction in demand, which means that the quantity demanded falls, and a price fall will cause an extension in the quantity demanded. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. Sharing this video with those curious about economics helps us grow and continue providing valuable insights. Thank you for watching.